So today is the big day. We get to go to our Dorset Glen. So I've been looking forward to this for two years now. We've tried to get there. Don't know what to expect. Seen plenty of videos on YouTube. I know about the story. But I don't know what emotionally to expect until we get there. Um, this is all thanks to Robert Pike and his book Silent Village. Um, I'm not going to try and retell the story of our daughter Glane. Um, especially when you've got the book as good as Robert Pike's. Um, you know, I couldn't, I couldn't <laughs> retell it better than what he's made the book. So, I've spoke with Robert Pike and he's happy and given permission for to me to use the information out of his book. So that's what I'll do. Um, you know, he's worded the story and, and he's put the context together. It's way, way beyond what I could do or write. So Robert Pike, thank you for that. Um, it's been a great help understanding the story. It's an absolutely amazing book. Um, I'll put the links up for the book if anybody wants to get the book, but it's it's a phenomenal reader. It just blew, blew my head reading that book. Absolutely fantastic. So, it's early, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna go and see the Massacred Village and hopefully get some amazing footage. We're just waiting on Alby now, waiting on the news from Alby, seeing if his bike's been done, whether he's meeting us at Le Mans or whether his bike's got further faults. And he's got to go home. I hope he's got to go home. He was so gutted, he was, he's missing today. I would also glad. Let's just hope he can get there. I suppose I better. Oh, start talking up. Get ready. Yeah, the hotel's not anything special here. I think we've got just under 200 miles today to do. Up to the mile. So I think it's a nice easy day. Just take our time getting up there. Right, I'm going to get ready. Ugh. I'm going to see you on the bikes. Ish. Morning, my little fixter. In the man cave. We're in the man cave. With joy. <laughs> Sat enough, wake up, wake up. How can you get the f wrong way? We're doing three miles an hour. He's <laughs> gone the wrong way. <laughs> he must have come out there and carried on straight instead of turning left again. The problem here though is all these one way streets. <laughs> First corner, oh dear. <laughs> He's over there, look. <laughs> there we 
Bear's Bear! <laughs> Bear's Bear for breakfast. <laughs> you don't need a kiosk? No, it's a different one. Should we find another one? Yeah. Just go on the, go on the garage. So we go, we're not up there. You're turning right though. Is this card only? Oh, I think these are card only, why looking at it? Only the lonely da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. Pounds, 30 pounds. Bonjour. Merci. Merci, au revoir. Right, you're going to the island and back on ourselves. We've got to go back down that way. Yes, mate. I think it was, yeah, coming back up this way, Stu. Yeah, keep going. No turn. Yeah, that's it, turn there. You're just driving. Yeah. Right, so as we get down, we've got a we've got a veer off right. Do you want me to go in front there? Yeah. Right, he's here now there. Okay boys. Turning right. And then we're turning right again, so watch this. Right. Yeah, they're okay, on mate. red. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look, we've had this conversation yesterday. No one has right of way apart from Motor M. Yeah. Turning left. Somewhere up here by the bend. Indicator bear. Now he's up ahead. Fifteen degrees. It's a bit fresh. Turning right. Pig. There. Should have gone there. Get down there. Get down there. I'll turn around. I missed it. Come on, crackhead, where are you? Where are you? <coughs> so think, until you start thinking, oh, why is it taking as long as he drops his bike, or you know what I mean? Turning it round, or. No, I see him, yeah, he's coming now, I've just seen him come around the corner at the top. He's just come around the corner at the top. I was daydreaming about noodles in the bath. It turned into a nightmare. Gear head. He needs, ge he needs gear head a wobble. Uh, same thing. Wash your face and wake up. Yeah, that's all fair. So they all seem to have a lot of open gardens, and now they don't seem to have fences like we do. I'm guessing we're very close now with Greg. 6.7 miles. All right. Turning right, first exit. Orador Siglan. Sir, 
sunshine shine on Harvey Moon. Do 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 do. That'll warm it up with the sun out. You know, we can't be far off now and I'm starting to feel a bit, a bit nervous, like uh, when we're in Normandy, getting close to places. Yeah, we need to there now. There it is, up ahead. So I'm pretty sure, I think, which is this way. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So this is the bridge, La Grine. This is where the, they first started shooting everybody and pushed them in the river. There it is, boys. Here's the village. And that's the road there the Germans walked up into the village to kick. That's a church where they burnt all the women and children in the church. 180, was it 180 women, 160 kids, something like that. Just killed them all in a church? Yep, all in the church. All the men that took into the barns and shot them in the barns. So this is it, that's it to all the, all the village. And this is the visit, we walk underneath, we go under the road. We walk from here, but the car park. You see, this part here in front of us, the new part, they rebuilt the city. They rebuilt that village there, and they said they will never ever do anything to that village. It will stay as a, a memorial. Yeah, they said nothing's been touched. It's crazy, isn't it? Two years for this. Two years. And we've made it. We're here. Yeah. We are here. Is that a path there? Yeah, we but now we're both up there and we need a path. We just pull here. There's a path, that, that, that's a path there at the back. So. so if anything big, I'd say, this is the place to send the drone up. Yeah. Set it off and go nide while you're flying it. <laughs> yeah. Or do you, want park, do you want to park over there in the corner? Just park there in the corner. It'd be full of flies, won't it? <laughs> it's alright. Hey, hey. I've got, I haven't got my gloves on. <laughs> I thought I'd leave my gloves off, I'd be hot. <laughs> listen, listen, let's just, let's just, um, let's just hang fire for a second. Right. The other day, you all tried to lose me in a French city that I, I didn't know and I've not got my phone with me for a second. I've all to ring anybody. <laughs> this morning, you all buggered off from hotel and left me again. Well, hang on. You took the wrong turning, you mean? I didn't. I didn't. If, if you hadn't taken the wrong turning, you'd have been behind us. Be yeah. So if you went behind us, you took the wrong turning, didn't you? When I got off that curb at the hotel, where is everybody? 
Nobody inside. That's because you took too long then. Yeah. That's because you were Captain Faff again, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now, you call me a fool. This is a real lesson. I said you need to go down here, no you don't. But... <laughs> you won't. <laughs> I think the only place you can't film is when you go in that building. That was in here where they shot them all. Mm -hmm. Mari? Yeah.